Hi everyone, this is Andrew Keneally uh, here to talk to you about our new report, uh, Workers' Compensation Laws as of January 1st, uh, 2022. Uh, this report is made possible by WCRI and the IABC. Uh, it's an essential tool for identifying the similarities and distinctions between workers' compensation regulations and benefit levels uh, in U.S. states and Canadian provinces uh, as these uh, differences and similarities can be subtle. Uh, to start, let's go to the table of contents on uh, page four. Uh, so if you just scroll down the page, uh, you will see uh, the introduction, information to users, uh, what's new in this edition, uh, which is uh, information about regulations addressing presumption of causation, availability of hearings and legal proceedings virtually, and a retrospective review of the maximum weekly benefit amount for temporary total disability. Next, let's click on the tables, which is really going to be the bulk of the study. Um, as you can see, there are many different tables that address different questions uh, that you might have, such as which states and provinces allow individual or group self-insurance? How many jurisdictions allow the worker to receive to temporary total disability and permanent partial disability benefits at the same time? How do the maximum and minimum payments for temporary and permanent total disability benefits vary and how they change over time. And lastly, which states cover mental stress claims, hearing loss, and cumulative trauma? Let's dive in let, into that last question by clicking on table nine. If we zoom up, as you can see, if we start with Alabama, uh, you can just read across and, and see, uh, answer each one of those questions. Coverage of mental stress claims when no physical injury, no in Alabama. Coverage of cumulative trauma, yes. Coverage of occupational hearing loss, yes. Coverage of disfigurement, yes. Now you can take Alabama and you compare it uh, to every other state uh, in the United States. Uh, you can compare it to FECA, the Longshoremen's Act, uh, as well as Canadian provinces. Uh, so this is a very worthwhile report. Uh, this is one of our more uh, popular reports and uh, we hope you found it to find it useful uh, and we'll download the report uh, if you did like this video we hope you'll click on the thumbs up button below uh, also please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest research and discussions about important workers compensation topics thanks for watching